So this question starts off by providing us with a system of equations. It goes on to say, in the given system of equations, P is a constant. So this is not a variable. It is a constant. Let's keep that in mind. If the system has no solution, what is the value of P? Well, what does it mean for the system to have no solution? It means that the variables cancel. All right, that's the first thing that we're going to look for. And we'll get back to there's a second thing, but I'll, I'll address that in a second. Um, so let's see what we can do. We have our first equation, which is 6 plus 7r equals pw. We know that p is a constant, so we'll just kind of look at this structurally as, you know, we have our number, we have our r value, and we have our w value. So let's make sure that the second equation is in the same order. So it starts off as 7r minus 5w equals 5w plus 11. I'm actually going to simplify that down here and combine like terms. So where do I want my w? I want my w on the right-hand side. So I'm going to actually add 5w to both sides. And then I want my number on the left-hand side, so I'm going to actually subtract 11 from both sides. In doing that, now I'll move up to the top. I should have a negative 11 plus 7r equals 10w, right? So again, I just did that to make sure my format was the same for both equations, number, then r, then w. Okay, so then it looks like if I subtract, or if I multiply the bottom equation by a negative sign, then I'm gonna get this negative 11 to become a positive 11, this positive 7r to become a negative 7r, and this positive 10w to become a negative 10w. Why, why do I do that? I do that because by doing so, I get these r values to cross out. Right? So don't forget, we want the variable to cross out. Um, and in fact, I should have written this as variables, multiple. Variables cancel. So now we're going to get to the answer. Right? So by subtracting the second equation from the first equation, again, I have 6 plus 11 now. So this is 17. My r values are gone. And then equals this, PW minus 10W. But in order for this system to have no solution, when I cross out one variable, like I did with R, the other variable must cross out as well. And that's the key. The other variable, what is, what's our other variable? W. W has to also cancel. How would that happen? What does the value of P need to be in order for that w to also cancel out. Well, p would need to equal 10, right? Because if p were 10, then we just have 10w minus 10w, and it's gone, right? So that's how we know the answer is 10. Um, really, there's nothing more to do to this question. That is the answer. However, I will share that the other step for there being no solution is that the remaining, right? So for us, what's remaining? we'd have 17 equals 0, right? The left-hand side was 17, the right-hand side is 0. The remaining is not true. And that is important to a degree, right? A question like this is not so important, but there are other questions where that might actually be important. So this is true, right? 17 does not equal 0, so we get, you know, a check mark next to our second rule of thumb there. So there's our answer, 10.